Hi, SOAR students. It's another time of uh, life skills and cooking with Granny, Mrs. P. So today we're going to do a no-bake recipe that is really kind of fun, um, especially with the nice weather. This is going to be a nice treat for you. I'm going to start with a mini muffin pan. These are really small uh, mini muffins. And the only liners I had were Halloween ones, so I don't think the liners really matter, but I'm gonna, I put a bunch of liners in. I have about a, what I consider a heaping cup. It's about a cup and a quarter. I use vanilla wafer crumbs. You can use graham cracker. You can use um, Czech cereal. Whatever you have on hand, that's a little on the sweet side. To that, I've melted about a tablespoon and a half of butter. So I'm going to pour that in there. And then this time I want this to be more than just barely dampened. I want it fairly moist because I want it to hold together. I'm not baking this. This is a no-bake recipe, remember. So the butter is going to hold the crumbs together in the bottom of my, of my pans. Next thing I'm going to do is just spoon a little bit in. Maybe a half a teaspoon is all you need in each one. Once they're filled, then I will press them down and we'll move on. The next step, once I have the crumbs in my pan, and I will probably end up filling the entire pan by the time I'm done, but I just wanted to start with a few. I have two different flavors of yogurt, and it doesn't matter. Use whatever yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt. You can use regular yogurt. Um, I usually get the light so that's what I have. Um, I chose the red raspberry and a key lime pie flavored yogurt because that's what I had in my refrigerator. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do just a spoonful of raspberry. And then I'm, and then I'm going to top it with about a teaspoon, a little less than a teaspoon of the lime. And then I'm going to alternate it for some of them. I'm going to put the lime in first. And then top it with the raspberry. Once you get it all done, take a toothpick. And we are going to cut through it to kind of swirl it back and forth, zigzag. And you can't see much on top of what's going on, but that takes that top color and puts it down, cuts it down into the bottom color. Okay, you don't wanna scrape too far down because you don't wanna um, end up with crumbs all the way through. I'm gonna fill the entire tray, and then I'm gonna go back, and I have some fresh raspberries and some fresh blueberries. I'm going to go back and on the ones that have the green on top, I'm gonna to put a raspberry. The ones that have the raspberry yogurt on top, I'm gonna to put a fresh blueberry in. You can put one or two in depending on the size of your berries. Um, my blueberries and raspberries are fairly large, so I'll probably only do one. These are being done in mini muffin pans. If you don't have mini muffin pans, you can use regular size muffin pans. You're just going to end up with a froyo that isn't just a bite. It's a couple of bites. These are called froyo bites. When this is all done and filled in, I'm going to put it in my freezer for about two hours. And then we'll be ready to have some treats. Okay, I made mine a little full, so I ended up getting out um, another container of yogurt. So some of them are going to be almost sherbet because they've got three different flavors in them, which is fine. Um, I've topped them all with the fruit and they are now headed to my freezer. So my little Froyo bites are all done. I've taken them out of the freezer. They've been in there for more than two hours. But now the trick is they're gonna be frozen pretty solid. So I want them to sit for a little while um, before we eat them. So I'm going to take them out and put them on a plate in the refrigerator. They'll stay frozen for a long time in the refrigerator, but be much easier to bite into. Because right now they're pretty solid. So I hope you guys enjoy your Froyo bites and let me know how yours turn out.